I, I would have to say, if somebody said, who's the most passionate person you know? Mm. I know a lot of passionate people mm. would say Chief Phil Lane Jr. Yes, yes. Hello, Brother Phil. Oh, hug. <laughs> see you again today. So nice. Always, always to see you and Brother Scott and all the growing, growing members of our global peace tribe that are witnessing this incredible time that's been prophesied in all the sacred teachings, not only in the Holy Land, as people call it, but across the Americas and everywhere where the prophecies have foretold this very day in which we are being granted the incredible, incredible, incredible opportunity and joy to witness the day the dawning of the day that shall not be followed by night. So well, would, would you be willing to get us off to a start with, as only you can, a powerful prayer? Thank you. O Tenkashi Wakantaka, creator of the universe, most beloved one, all powerful one, most kind one, most compassionate one, ever forgiving one, O ancient of days, O blessed beauty. We just give thanksgiving from the bottom of our souls we're here today alive knowing that all our ancestors are closer than our closest vein surrounding us empowering us inspiring us to move towards peace on earth with the understanding of the prior unity and oneness of a human family and wakantak our creator of all good things we just give thanksgiving to all the tribes and nations the east from where comes the red sunrise they might come together in unity and harmony in a way that we've never understood or could ever imagine before in the past with all the tribes and nations of the South coming together as well for where comes new life, the West from where comes thunder, lightning and rain coming together as one heart and one mind and many bodies and the North from where comes the white snow, purifying our hearts and minds so all that remains is our connection to our holy being, the Holy Spirit that animates and sustains all things. And we especially give our thanksgiving to Father Sky and all those dimensions of our being that may be referred to over different ways in different culture, but our masculine dimensions. And Creator, we just give thanksgiving for being a human being. At the same time, we ask forgiveness that the overabundance of these masculine qualities have led us to a place where we're standing on the verge of either a deepening catastrophe or a time of great awakening spiritually that we might move towards the path that we know has been created for us towards peace. So we ask a forgiveness for our awkward ways knowing that you are the ever-forgiving. And we humble ourselves before Mother Earth, our beloved mother of all things, and her representatives of womankind. We ask forgiveness for any disrespect and for not being aware that at the center of the heart of our human family are women, who are the creators of life as our Mother Earth. And they must in every way be understood to be like the wings of an eagle, a condor, a hummingbird, a quetzal, both equal, man and woman. Because until we recognize the spiritual reality, the eagle of humanity will never reach the promised destiny that we are unfolding as we pray together. And especially this night, I ask the empowerment of the beautiful, 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 beautiful gift, this divine umbilical cord from the spiritual world of my dear Toja Kristen Hoffman. And she never, creator, you know, she always puts it in her heart, but even more so. Bless her empower her and each and every relative here who's going to share 
May they share from the depths of their soul like never before. May we in this 99 days of peace and unity in this world, International Peace Week, in a way we've never seen before, ever, creator. Let us dedicate ourselves during these sacred days to truly looking the depths of our souls and realize that each of us is a sovereignty, ancient and perishable, and everlasting in our souls, have no gender, have no ethnicity, have no race, have no class, but in fact are a reflection of the oneness of our creator. So creator, with that, the vows prayers continuing from all our hearts and minds, we move ourselves forward in this long promised day that shall not be followed by night into this time in which it's time to come together to recognize we're one human family, all indigenous to our beloved Mother Earth. Halami chante washte alo, shunk manohe meido, chinupasafe meido, halami chante washte. And from the Holy Land, I want to share this prayer. Oh my God, oh my God, unite the hearts of thy servants and reveal unto them thy great purpose. May they follow in thy commandments and abide in thy law. Help them, O oh God, in their endeavor and grant them strength to serve thee. O oh God, lead them not to themselves, but guide their steps in the light of knowledge and cheer their hearts by their love. By your love, verily thou art their help in the Lord. When we finish what we have to share or pray, as Dakota, we say our names. My name is Shunkmano and Shunupasapa, my two names. And I stand fully responsible, as each of us are, before the Creator for all my words and my actions. Halami Chante Washte. Aho.